Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing some advanced tips and techniques that many people might not know of. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let us begin. If Genji is damage boosted while deflecting, the damage boost will be applied on everything that Genji deflects. For example, Genji will deal 50% more damage on anything that Genji deflects while nano boosted. Right click and deflect at the same time when the opponent's Genji is deflecting at you. You'll land the final hit on the opponent's Genji. It's better to use this tactic at the end of the opposing Genji's deflect so that he'll right click at you, which in total you can deflect 6 shurikens. Genji has a pretty good deflect area, but he can only deflect shots from 180 degrees to his front. He can't deflect anything from 180 degrees to his back, even if he should have the deflect area. You can cancel the internal cooldown of melee to use deflect quicker and to do an extra 30 damage by wall climbing. You can curve through any wall that you can shoot through if you look at an angle in a way that Genji won't stop by any objects and successfully curve. Here is the opponent's perspective. Normally, Genji would only be able to swing 7 times, dealing 720 damage total. But as you can see, right swing to left swing actually takes longer than left swing to right swing. So you can cancel the internal cooldown of right swing to left swing with Genji's Swift Strike making him able to swing 8 times, which is an additional 120 damage. With a one good right swing cancel, you will be able to swing 8 times in total. You can also do the left swing motion again by wall climbing right after left swing. You can cancel the end motion of Dragon Blade which is an animation of Genji putting the blade away. By wall climbing? By Swift Strike? And by getting stunned which I wouldn't even recommend trying. You can also use your deflect at the end of the blade, and just before the deflect is over you can cancel both the animation of deflect and the end motion of dragon blade. Genji automatically reloads his shurikens when you use your dragon blade, and you can motion cancel the melee and right click animation when you use dragon blade. When you greet as Genji, Genji nods his head down which allows him to have less hitbox of his head. When you use it while looking back, it's almost impossible for a Widowmaker to headshot you in midair. Genji's head goes down by quite a lot when you use this technique. But of course the best technique is playing chords. Thanks everyone for watching this video. This is my first time recording my voice over a video, so hope you enjoyed it. Leave comments down below if you prefer captions or any feedback for future videos. If more people like this video, I'll be uploading Widowmaker techniques by next week. Thumbs if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it.